Go ahead, Karen. You're on the air with Jimbo. Thanks. Hey, Gene. Hey, Coach. Hey, how are you? Just a couple things. (laughs) Good. I loathe our beat writers, and I just write them all the time on Twitter. So I just wanted to give a shout-out to FSU Football, FSU Recruiting, and FSU Digital Media for doing such a wonderful job this week to offset some of the garbage that the media see uh, beat writers spew. In particular, the uh, clip they did of Jaquez Patrick being one of the first people to just run up to Cam after the big touchdown, and Patrick's face was just full of joy. So the people who think that our players don't support each other can bite me. And then the other thing that was just really nice to see was uh, just just the way this week more than at any other time, our whole team just really came together. You know, Derwin with the big pick and everything. And I've been a fan since 1959. I lived through wide right and wide left, or I'd probably live 10 years longer. So I have a low tolerance for all this nonsense. Now, I got a play for you. You ready? Yeah, we'll take <laughs> okay. It's, uh, it's fourth and one. Now, we're on their side of the 50. Now, we put Slim tight under center, and we give the ball – the Hollywood Mar for one yard. Come on, just one time. <laughs> You're right. Be like the refrigerator. <laughs> be like the old fridge. Marv, I'm going to tell you what, Marv, there's going to be a time in his career because he's very athletic as he's figuring things out. He'll be able to do things like that out of the backfield and, and because he is very athletic and can run very big. He's just got to get in his, in his bearings about what he's doing right now. But there is a place in the future for that. You're, you're exactly right, Aaron. That, that's exactly right. And, and, you know, people who say that, if you saw our locker room after that game, yeah. The kids and the joy and the fun. And, and, you know, people say, well, is it that big a deal to beat? It's that big a deal to beat anybody. When you quit enjoying wins, you need to get out. Because when they start becoming just another thing, that's the worst thing can ever happen. That's how, that's how complacency sets in. That's how all that sets in. You, you're excited every time you play. You only guarantee to play 12 times a year. Mm-hmm. So why wouldn't you get excited? All that hard work for a year round, all the off-season workouts, all the weights, all the summer conditioning, all the practice, all the – if that doesn't make – for people who say that, there's people who've never played the game and sacrificed like these kids do to, to have fun and play. All right, Karen. Good point, Karen. Thanks for your like call her. from Wildwood, I like Florida. I like her. Karen. <laughs> call back again, Karen.